Well, hello folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here in Scottsdale, Arizona at C2 Tactical, my favorite indoor facility. And today we're gonna talk about the Taurus G3. Well, you're gonna say, well, that, that's an old pistol, yeah, right? Well, a couple of years ago, this pistol came out with a bunch of improvements over the G2 and the G2C. And I really liked it. It's for the price, it's a really good pistol that works great. So. Earlier this year, Taurus came out with the G3 Toro, and wow, great improvements on it. For the G3 Toro, they added, of course, the Toro, which is Taurus Optics Ready Option. You can put uh, any kind of optic, because it comes with a bunch of plates, and you take the little cover off, put the plate you, uh, plate you want, and the optic you desire, and you're good to go. Also, over the G3, it takes, like the G3, it takes a uh, Glock front sight, but unlike the G3, it takes Glock rear sight. So, you see the G3C uh, Toro is here. I already put the tall MOS type sights, so you can use suppressor, suppressor heights, and they are great sights, especially if you want to co-witness. Even though I don't have an optic on this G3C Toro, I have the option to put one with, you know, already have the sights changed, I'm ready to go. So, one of the bummer about the original G3 is the rear sight. That for me was the only weakness I could find because there's a very uh, limited availability of sights for it. I use a G2C, or a G2, excuse me, uh, rear sight on it uh, from uh, Trueglow, but that was just about the only solution I had for it until now. Taurus just released the complete slide for the Toro as a kit that you can order directly without the need on an FFL because the only buying the slide and the adapters comes with the normal front and rear Glock sights. And you can do all sorts of cool things with it. I already ordered a Mary Glow black front and rear high sights. These are the uh, three times or five times height from a Mary Glow. You can buy from any of your uh, online um, stores like Brownells, Midway, you name it, they all have these sites available. So today we're gonna change this G3 to a G3 Toro. So I'm already ready to go, so come on closer so I can show you how it's done. It is really simple to do, okay? Um, I, you, all, you guys know that I have Marty as a gunsmith and he can do all sorts of really cool things for me, but I don't need it, I can do this myself. This is like field stripping it and assembling it with a different slide. So come closer, closer here. Okay guys, first, before you start working on your pistol, make sure you don't have any ammo on your work table so my magazines are empty. Magazines have been removed and I'm gonna check, make sure there's no ammo here, okay? So we're gonna take it apart like you always do, okay? Like if you're doing a field stripping to clean it. So you're gonna remove the guide rod and your barrel from your original slide. You're gonna put it aside and you're gonna open the kit that comes from Taurus. The kit comes with a new slide, okay? The new Taurus slide and all the plates necessary for you to, um, even an Allen wrench for you to do all the uh, changeover of plates and installing your, um, comes with all the screws necessary, you name it. Everything comes in this kit. So I'm not gonna set up a red dot yet because I already have my original Taurus set up for red dot. I'm just gonna go ahead and install this one, put the barrel in, and put your guy rod in, and put your upper on your frame. Look at that. You're ready to go. So now I'm going to shoot it for the first time. We're not going to shoot any, for accuracy. I'm just going to function test it. And let's go ahead and shoot it. Now get back away from me. Well, if you have any questions, it does function great. Like I said before, uh, this new upper, new slide, has all the features I really, really like. F Glock front and rear sights and there's a plethora of sights out there. I have this Ameriglows. I have these tall Ameriglows that I'm gonna be using on the pistol. I'm gonna change them here pretty soon. We're gonna to go to Marty's and get that changed. And this is great. I'm not gonna put a red dot on it, even though I have a couple of red dots kicking around the house. 
I'm not going to do anything with them yet. I already have this one here set up with red dots, so I don't need to have both of them set up a red dot. But I do want to have the flexibility of doing that, if I want to, by replacing the front and rear sight. And now I'm left with a slide. What to do, what to do, what to do. I don't know, maybe Marty can come up with some depraved idea of something we can do with this slide. So you never know. I'll have this slide done up by Marty, and maybe, just maybe, I'll put it up as a giveaway in Gunstock Review. So if you want to have one of our projects for your own, stay tuned, because this might happen. So folks, like always, thank you for watching. Please remain healthy, stay safe, and definitely have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patron.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.